it's the wildlife or the ray of light or the sound of the trees, I always encounter something new. From the hazel to the oak to the herons and the dippers in the water. You know that when you return, there's always something quite special here. Hi everyone, welcome to this wild foraging session here on Exmoor and you're in the beautiful, stunning Watersmeet Valley. The best place to go wild foraging is in a damp woodland. I'm going to teach you up to 10 wild foods that you're going to try today as well. So what we're going to do is walk up this lovely valley, a bit of a circular walk. We're going to stop a few places and we're going to try some food. All right, are you ready to go? Fabulous. Let's go. garlic that we have here today. It's my favourite thing to have in spring and you can turn it into a wild garlic pesto. Put it in a blender, mix it up with some cheese and you can have it on oat cakes, you can mix it into your pasta dish. So this is one of my favourites here in a damp woodland, it's wood sorrel, the Latin name Oxalis acetosella and it looks like clover but it's not clover, it's got three love heart leaves and they pinch in the middle so you find it on a lovely mossy bank in the damp woodlands and I'd like you to taste it. So Gary, would you like to taste some of this wood sorrel? Just use your front teeth. Grapes, yep. Grape skin. Grape skin, a little bit of apple skin maybe. So that's the, as the acid that you f taste in, uh, in the leaf. Yep. It's always best to find the most lime green one. It's the freshest one, particularly in spring. So the dark green ones, I would, I would leave those. And again, forage from hip height upwards. Um, our ancestors used to use it in replacement of apples because when we didn't have any apples left over, they would make apple pie out of it. It tastes that good. The thing I like about rose hip is the distinct honey and orange flavour to it. A lot of people say they can taste the rose in there, but I can really taste honey. Um, it's high in vitamin C, it's got five times as much vitamin C than it does orange. And that's what I give to my walkers, my guests, when we walk around, they try some rose, rose hip syrup on oat cakes. No wonder the Ministry of Food and the Ministry of Defence use this very powerful fruit to help the soldiers in World War II when they were healing. It has a lot of healing powers for me as well. I like to make jam, I like to make syrup. So one of the nicest things around here in Watersmeet is the whortleberry or the bilberry plant which is heated up and made into a preserve called whortleberry jam which is very popular in the tea rooms around here, very nice on cream teas um, and I serve it on oat cakes for my walkers to enjoy. They also had healing powers in the, in the World War, they were foraged here on Exmoor and they were 
eaten by the pilots and they swore by the water breeze to improve their night vision as they were flying at night time. On this short walk that we encounter, you can find so much and enjoy so much from the plants to the wildlife. so important about Watersmeet Valley as part of the North Devon Biosphere Reserve is that we take care of the landscape, the atmosphere and the maritime life and we should all be here to protect it forever. <laughs>